Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. Today we will make a classical apple pie but with one twist, we will add vanilla custard cream in it. And I'm sure you will love it. In a bowl, mix the flour, softened butter, sugar, vanilla sugar, lemon and orange zest and cold water. I like to put in the combination of orange and lemon zest because it creates a lovely taste, but you can put on the lemon if you like. Start mixing it until the dough starts to come together. If the dough is too dry, then add a little bit more water and if it's too soft, add a little bit of flour. The dough should not be very sticky. Work the dough together with your hands into a bowl and cover with plastic wrap and then put it in the fridge for one hour. It's time to make the custard cream. First, put half of the milk in a pot and put it to boil. In another bowl, mix the yolks with the sugar. Add the vanilla extract, the rest of the milk and cornstarch and mix it with your kitchen mixer until smooth. Transfer the mixture to the pot with hot milk and simmer, stirring constantly. When the composition turns creamy, turn off the fire, take the plastic wrap, put it over the surface of the cream and let it cool in a room temperature. You need to put the plastic wrap on the surface of the cream while it's still hot to avoid creating the crust, which could later make the lumps inside of your cream and we don't want that. Peel and core the apples and then cut them in thinner slices. When you are finished with that, add the lemon juice and cinnamon and mix it all together. And why we are putting lemon juice? Lemon juice prevents oxidation of the apples, which means that it stops the slices from turning brown. After you prepare the apples, now it is time to prepare the caramel. Warm the pot, but to medium heat. I'm using the pot with thick bottom and put a thin layer of sugar on it. You will see later if the fire is too strong, turn it too low. I'm never stirring the sugar, only shaking the pot as I realize this is the easiest way to avoid making any possible sugar lumps which are later very hard to melt. And after the first layer is melted, put second and then wait again for it to melt and so on until you use all the sugar. The sugar should be melted until now, as you can see mine is nicely golden brown. And add the butter to it and mix. After that add the apples and caramelize for 10 minutes and let it cool. Before working with the dough preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Now cut the pie dough in half, roll the dough on a flour surface. Put it around the rolling pin and unroll onto a pie dish, making sure that the dough reaches all edges. Feel free to press the edges and remove all the excess of the dough. Poke the dough with a fork all over the surface and then pour in the custard vanilla cream. Add apple filling mixture on top of the custard filling. I like to arrange apples in a nice circle, but if you don't feel like it, pour it inside and just even them. Repeat the same rolling process with the second part of the dough. Use a knife to cut it into strips about 1 to 1 and a half centimeter width, which we will use to make the net above the apple filling. Make the net out of the dough using the same way as I did and then make sure edges are sealed together. And now take egg yolk and milk and mix it well and then brush the pie all over the net you created from the dough. Bake the pie for 30 to 35 minutes, uh, it all depends on the strength of your oven. Allow the pie to cool completely before slicing and enjoy! Enjoy! 
Thank you for watching my video recipe for the apple pie with vanilla custard filling and don't forget to like and subscribe and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Bon Appetit!